Hey, in this video, we're quickly going to go over the parts of a sarcomere. This is a sarcomere. Uh, within a muscle cell, I'd have a number of sarcomeres at it end to end, almost like cars on a train, and there'd be a whole series of them. That's what mostly fills up the middle of a, say, a skeletal muscle cell. And though these are indirectly attached to the cell membrane. So when these shrink, they pull in the cell membrane, the cell gets shorter. But let's go over the parts of a basic sarcomere. So a sarcomere is defined by two ends, the Z disc. Now, why are they called Z disc? Well, here in the model, you can see they look ziggy zaggy. So they're called Z disc or Z discs, depending where you are in the world. Now, coming off the Z discs, I have these red things. These are the actin molecules. Now, if we zoom in, we'll see that um, there's little individual, look like little golf balls. Each one of these are called G-actin, stands for globular actin. So a whole bunch of G-actins are sort of strung together uh, in a chain, and that forms an F-actin for fibers. And then they wrap, two of them wrap around each other. And you notice that that's sort of what we see here. We keep seeing all the actin coming off here. Now, if you look carefully, you can see there's a little yellow streak there with a little green thing halfway along. And this is uh, actually two regulatory molecules called troponin and tropomyosin. And what are they doing here? Underneath that yellow streak there are the binding sites for the myosin. So this is actin we're looking at. So the actin is binding sites for myosin that are covered up. And as long as they're covered up, the myosin can't interact with this. Now what is going to cause the troponin tropomyosin to move out of the way, the two regulatory proteins. Well, what it is, is calcium. Calcium floods in when it gets a signal from the cell membrane, uh, because a motor neuron has depolarized the cell membrane and the signal's gone down a T-tubule and has released calcium. Calcium's gonna flood across here, and calcium's gonna bind onto the troponin tropomyosin complex that causes it to change shape. It's gonna move out of the way. Now let's look at the other one. We can see in the middle, I'm gonna open this up because this um, does slide. This whole thing's called the slide and filament theory. We can see inside here is the myosin. Now these myosin look kind of like um, golf clubs. They have little heads here, or if you want, hockey sticks. The end of a hockey stick it has a, a blade on it. Now. Each one of these heads has the ability to change shape. It can move in, move out, depending on the presence and the cycling of and breakdown of ATP and the addition of ATP. And what happens is, in the presence of ATP, and if I have moved these regulatory proteins out of the way by having calcium bind onto them, then all of a sudden, the actin heads are available. If there's ATP, the myosin heads will bind on and when they bind on, they'll go through a sequence of binding ATP, breaking down ATP, pulling the actin, the myosin, almost like you're pulling a rope and grabbing a rope and pulling on it. And eventually what happens is that the actin and the myosin will be pulled by each other. And this is what we call the sliding filament theory or model. Now it's gonna happen you know, at the same time on both ends. And we're gonna get it's sliding in by each other. And that's gonna cause a shortening of the sarcomere. As I said, other sarcomeres are attached here. They're attached to the cell membrane through things like dystrophin molecules, and that will cause the cell to shrink. So this is your basic, your basic sarcomere. And in quick review, we have the two Z disks. We have the actin coming off each end. Each actin is made of small little golf balls. Those are the G actin. Put a whole bunch of G actin together. I have a long string of it. I'm gonna call that F actin. So these are all F actin, and there's two of them wrapped around each other, two and two. And then I have the regulatory proteins, which are troponin and tropomyosin. I have to get them out of the way. Calcium binds on to move them out of the way. Once that happens, as long as I have ATP, ATP will interact with the myosin, cause the change of the head of the myosin, get binding with actin, it pulls, myosin can pull the actin by itself, and there we end up with what we're gonna call the slide and filament theory, as both these ends equally move in, and the sarcomere has now become 
much shorter. So that's just a quick overview. Thanks for listening. Uh, hit the subscribe button if this has been handy.